Hi audio family my name is Vicky and in today video we will learn how to upgrade AWS CLI version on Linux machine. So here I logged in to my AWS account and here I am in my EC2. Now here I am going to create one of the machine for the Linux and on that machine we will upgrade the AWS CLI version. By default if we are going to use any of the Linux machine by default you know the version which we will get that is the version AWS CLI version 1 not the AWS CLI version 2 but there is a huge difference between the AWS CLI version 2 and version 1 AWS CLI version 2 comes with the latest feature and it is always recommended whenever you are creating a machine so use the latest version of the AWS CLI let me go to the official website and let me show it to you so AWS CLI So if you see this is the topic described let me scroll down okay um, the AWS CLI version 2 is the most recent major version of the AWS CLI and support all the latest features so if you want to use the latest feature from the AWS CLI you have to use the version 2 okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one machine. So let me create the first machine that is the Amazon Linux 2. I will go with the free tier next. I don't want to change any of the setting here. Storage is fine. Let me go with the tagging. Let me give a name to the next machine. Configure security group SSH is fine with me. Let me create. AWS CLI download let me launch my instance now here I have created one of the machine so let me go to my terminal and let me go to that location where I have my key pair so my key pair is in the download folder and it's with the name AWS CLI and let me try to log in if you are using a Mac operating system or Linux operating system in order to log into your machine, the first thing which you need to do is you need to change the permission of your key pair, otherwise it is not going to work. If you are using a Windows, then you don't have to change the permission of your key pair file. Okay. Let me show you the error message first, SSH minus I. After that, I need to give the key pair name and in our case, the key pair name is AWS CLI. Then we need to provide the default username at whatever the IP address public IP you have for your machine now here unprotected private file and if you see permission deny this is the error message you will get so what you need to do is you need to change the permission of your key pair so how to change the permission that is with the help of ch mode command 400 that is the read only permission and then the key pair name AWS CLI we are done and let me try to log in this time i'm able to log in fine see i'm able to log in great now the first command which i'm going to run which aws okay and aws word now here if we see we will get this version version 1.18 this is an old version this this is not a latest version okay by default it will come with the old version so if we need a latest version of the AWS CLI then we need to install it and how we need to install it for that what we need to do is we need to download this thing AWS CLI version 2 we need to download this to our local machine where we need to upgrade the version so once we run this command we will get the zip file what we need to do is we need to unzip this file and the command is this now once we are done with this command we will get the AWS folder created and if we go inside this AWS folder we will see one of the script with the name install so that is something we need to run and to run we will use this thing
done now if we see the version aws version it is going to tell me 1.8 so in order to upgrade this thing what we need to do is we just need to exit from our machine login back and then if we check the aws cli version it is going to show us aws cli version 2 so this is how you can upgrade your version let's suppose if you want to remove this thing so here is the step to remove this thing so what you need to do is you need to remove it from this directory this is for the linux for the windows i'm going to create a separate video okay completer this file we also need to delete this is a very important file i will explain you in a different video what exactly the use of this completer file okay now aws version no such file so what we need to do is we need to exit login back then AWS version we will see the default version 1.8 so in this video we have learned how we can upgrade the version of the AWS CLI on the Linux machine how we can remove that version